Hey y'all, welcome back. This is going to be your next 48 for the sign of Scorpio. If you have Scorpio on your your chart, these messages may or may not resonate. Please take what apply and leave the rest. If messages do resonate, please like and subscribe. Anything you need to know about me will be down below in the description box. We're going to tap into this Oracle card first, and then we're going to tap into the Tarot. So what messages do you have for the Scorpios? We have the owl. I don't know why this apple card want to come out for that. Well, that's a lot. We have the wolf. And we have Journey. And we also have Black Cat at the bottom. So, Scorpio, let me just get this keyword on this owl. Before I say, before I look at this, I want to say, I feel like somebody has a better, um, like somebody gained a better perspective on the way somebody was behaving. I feel like now somebody is able to see clearly of why somebody behaved in a certain type of way. And I feel like now somebody could be wanting to go on a journey with somebody, a new journey here. But let me see. Okay, yeah, we have Discovery. Lesson on oh, this journey. Damn. Wrong one. <laughs> we could have knowledge and observer. Yeah. Somebody could have been um watching somebody's behavior here. Or paying attention to how somebody act. And I feel like now somebody has a better idea and understanding of why somebody was reacting a certain type of way. Like now, somebody could be wanting to start a new journey or go on a journey with somebody. Well, let's tap into the tarot. Let's see. Okay, what messages do you have for Scorpio? Mm -mm. That was a death card and a strength card. Why could be going through some sort of I just heard ego death, but all right, spirit, let me see. What messages do you have for Scorpio? We got the Emperor here. So you could be dealing with a father or somebody that's like has some sort of power or authority. Could have had mm, could have had. The Six of Cups, this could be somebody from your past. Excuse me. Or this could be somebody you have children with. Mm. Yeah, we have the Tower and the High Priestess. Somebody is realizing something here. Like somebody knew. Somebody knows something about a past situation here. We got the King of Cups, the Confusion, and I mean the Confusion. We got the King of Cups, the Seven of Cups, and the Two of uh, the Two of Pentacles. Yeah, so somebody could have knew something about a father figure here doing doing something to a child in the past, or yeah, wow, ill. So, listen, just, I don't mean to say ill, but somebody could be realizing now that their father was doing something to them in the past or doing something to the child 
or one of your siblings in the past. I feel like this person could have been a high priestess here. And it's like, now somebody's going through a, some sort of tower here. Like the tower is falling about a father and a child. Something's being illuminated here. And I feel like this person, this, this emperor or this father person, figure person, could be in love with the child or was in love with the child. And they were trying to cause all type of confusion and imbalance in that child's life or something like that. It's like this person did not want them to believe in whatever belief system they had. They did not want that child to figure something out here. Yeah, we got the Ten of Swords. But the worst part of a situation is over. Something ended abruptly. <clears throat> yeah, we have the Star card here. I feel like either there's a healing or there's there's some sort of wish fulfillment here. Or somebody's wishes are coming true. Or there's, a, there's an offer coming in. Or the Knight of uh, Cups. Could have, been, could have been waiting on this offer. Yeah, we got the full card. Somebody took a leap of faith here. Yep, and we got the four cups. And now somebody is somebody feels rejected. So the father could have made an offer to this person and wanted to heal, heal something with them. But I feel like this person could have walked away or I don't know. Like this person feel like they betray, they betrayed them or backstabbed them somehow, but somebody ended it. Somebody ended up ending a situation, or a situation ended up roughly. Somebody could have walked away without saying nothing, and then this person like walked into some sort of new beginning here. Yeah, now somebody feels rejected by them. Yeah, because this person is this person got a new financial beginning. Uh, we got the Queen of Wands, the Magician, and we got the Three of Swords. So this Queen of Wands could have been could have been doing some sort of magic or spell work to um to create a breakup or something. Yeah, this Queen of Wands was doing some sort of manipulation magic, or this person could have been doing some sort of magic to create to create a breakup. Or they wanted somebody to break up with somebody else so that they wouldn't figure out, oh, wow. So this Queen of Wands did not want somebody's person to figure out what this child went through. Like, the Queen of Wands did not want either their child to tell the person that they were in love with what, what the father did or what her husband did or some shit like that. Like, they didn't want, she didn't want this person to know that the father did something to the child when they were younger so she was trying to call this person to break up with, with you know with them yeah we got the ten of pentacles and the ten of cups yeah but i also feel like she did not want this person to know that this person was came from a wealthy family as well but it's just something about you know this person was like happy with them. Like they were happy with them. They were in love with this person. Yeah, now somebody is in regret here. It's like these two people were still, they still ended up being happy, happily in love or some shit like that. Somebody did not want somebody to know all this shit that was being kept a secret. Like somebody, somebody's mother didn't want uh the child's father to know that I mean, not the child's father. Somebody's mother did not want their child's boyfriend or husband to know what their father did to them when they were younger. They also did not want them to know that they came from a wealthy family. Or they didn't, they didn't want them to be happy with this person. It's like something was being kept a secret here. Yeah, the four of pentacles. Somebody was holding back a secret. Or holding on to somebody or holding back something. Yeah, see, we got the devil card here. Somebody was trying to hold on to somebody. Like somebody was trying to hold wanted somebody to hold back. Somebody wanted somebody to be like manipulating and like I don't know. I feel like this father person 
I feel like this father figure could be still holding on to this child because they're obsessed with them. With the uh, devil card. Or hell, the mother and the father could be obsessed with the child. Yeah, we got the five of swords here. Yeah, it's like now somebody is jealous and envious of this of this child or this person or these two people that stay together. Yeah, it's like now because they are stuck or trapped or somebody's going to jail or some weird ass shit. Yeah, because somebody has a fresh start, a clean slate and love. Like now somebody's going to be able to enjoy their life. Yeah, this could be an empress here. Yeah. Yep, we got the three of cups. Somebody reconciled with this empress. I feel like somebody went, somebody got back together with this empress after they realized what what happened, or or something. Like somebody could have went through an, an awakening of their own and was able to see clearly of why somebody was acting a certain type of way. I feel like a secret was revealed about a father doing something to a child when they were younger, and it's like the mother. Could have been trying to manipulate a situation with magic to try to cause this person to break up with this person before the truth was the truth came out or some shit like that. Yeah, we had the death card. Yep. So there is some sort of major change of events here. It's like somebody went through a rebirth. Yeah. Now it's like somebody is in regret here because this person ended up collaborating with this other person. Yeah, they ended up collaborating with him. They got back with him because they knew that they was their soulmate. We got the three of pentacles, the lovers, and the two of cups. Yeah, somebody is in regret about this now because somebody ended up being with that person. They didn't walk away from them. They didn't reject them. They didn't break up with them. And yeah, we had a temperance card. Now there's being now peace and balance is being brought into the connection. Well, I just I just had a chill on this side of my head. Yeah, now it's like they're victorious. We got the six of wands here. There's a victory here. What else, spirit? Give me one more. Thank you. Yep, and now these people are under judgment. Wow. We got the judgment card here because somebody turned their back on these people. This could have been this could have been a boyfriend or the husband that turned their back on these on these family members or the their their lovers family members because they found out the truth of what happened to the child or what happened to their boyfriend or girlfriend or something like that. Or they or they realize the truth. Like I said, somebody somebody realized something now about why somebody was acting a certain type of way or something like that. Okay, what other messages do you have for Scorpio? Yeah, we have rising wings, magic, release, calling, intentions, and stronghold. Yeah, I feel like somebody has some sort of magical powers where they was either able to release something or release this information or something like that. Something was released here. This person could have also been like trying to work some sort of magic to help them release this and also heal from it. Yeah, we have drawing down the moon, a divine feminine source, channel, stillness. This could have been a divine feminine here. Like I said, the divine feminine could have been a child that the father was doing things to when they were younger and the mother was trying to cover this shit up. They didn't want they didn't want the divine feminine boyfriend or husband to find out any of this about them. It's like the mother was trying to get the boyfriend to break up with this divine feminine. But I don't think he did. He never broke up with her. Yeah, we have Vermering Everlasting. It says Spellbound, Soul Alignment, Release, and Protection. Yeah, somebody was protected here. Somebody could have been like doing spell magic to protect themselves. Yeah, now we have uh, Pyrokinus, Debate, Rage, Revolution, and Attention. Now these people could be enraged or mad or irritated because this male figure or this the boyfriend ended up staying with the divine feminine they're upset now they're mad because 
she's rejecting them and he's not and he's not rejecting her and now they're all under judgment I'm going to give y'all a blessing message and then I'm going to let y'all go. Hey, what messages do you have? Yeah, could be dealing with an air sign. It says a blessing of air. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. What else, Spirit? Yeah, it says a blessing on the children. Yeah. Like I said, there was a father figure doing something to a child, bro. There was a father figure doing something to a child or children. What else, Spirit? What else? We have a blessing on your family. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I feel like whoever this air sign was, this Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, could have been the father figure that was doing something to the child. But I feel like now this child is protecting themselves and could be protecting their children or was protecting their children from this this male figure because they they knew that this person was capable of doing something to even their children or some shit like that. Yeah, and it says a blessing to find the truth. Yeah, somebody figured out the truth here that a father figure was doing something to them when they were younger. And I feel like this mother was trying to cover this up for years, but now they're all under judgment because the child figured out that the father could have been molesting her or raped her when she was younger. And I feel like they didn't want the boyfriend or the husband to, to find this out either. So the mother was trying to cause confusion and conflict around their relationship so that the boyfriend could break up with the girlfriend and never figure none, none of this shit out. But I, I think he never, I don't think he ever broke up with her. They're still together. Or he ended up staying and realizing this shit himself. He became awakened too. But that's all I have for you, Scorpio. I hope this helped. I'll see you next time. I'm out.